Well, more than a million people are under mandatory evacuations. Well, that's from Virginia down through the Carolinas. I mean, this storm could touch 20 million people. Meteorologist Chris Spears is here. Chris, this is a massive storm and one we know Noah is keeping a close eye on. Oh, yes. Everybody watching this one closely, it will be a historic storm. And, you know, people in this part of the world, no stranger to tropical activity. This one may rival Hazel back in the 50s. Let's take a closer look here. Hurricane Florence, Category 4 on the Saffir Simpson scale, 140 mile per hour winds. It's chugging to the west northwest at 17, 360 miles south southwest of Bermuda at this time. Take a look at this video today. Time is precious right now along the east coast. People are evacuating. You can see all of the traffic moving away from the coastal area, long lines of cars, all trying to get out of harm's way. Today we spoke with the Weather Service in Boulder and they put this season into perspective. This is climatologically the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, t typically right around the second week of September. But uh, there also happens to be a, a ridge of high pressure, which means not much flow aloft. Hurricanes love that. As the storm moves on shore, it's going to run into that ridge and nothing's going to want to kick it out to sea. So it could just sit and spin and, and drop a lot of rain in that area. And that is what we are really worried about. The storm will be approaching during the day on Thursday and making a move inland Thursday night. And it could sit and spin for not only days. The weather service is warning a storm surge could exceed 10 feet. Rain could exceed 20 inches and potential for flooding and tornadoes. And Dominic and Kathy, these numbers may be conservative depending on how long Florence sits around. This will be a story we will be watching and talking about, I'm afraid, for days to come. I'm hoping the best for those people. Chris, thank you.